Hi guys, so for tonight's video I am going to do some salt dough ornaments and I am super excited. I mean I did these last year, let me show you. I did these last year, this is one of the ones from last year, this is a little reindeer. And I filmed it but I never put it up and I never edited it and I just, I don't like the video so I'm going to redo everything. Maybe I'll use clips from that from last year, otherwise I think I'm just going to use this one. But I am making salt dough ornaments. Um, if you haven't seen them or you don't know what they are, pretty much it's just salt and flour and water. Um, and I'm going to give you the measurements for everything. And um, you just need cookie cutters and a straw. A straw to poke the holes in because it makes it so much easier. But um, I'm super excited and it only really takes them, depending what uh, temperature you put your oven at. I put mine at 200, like the like three recipes I found called for there's also 250 and it gets it done quicker but 200 it puts it about three hours which is a kind of a lot but if you think about it you quickly make the dough make the ornaments put them in in three hours let them cool a little bit you can paint them and that's the most exciting part so I will leave the link below for the recipe on Pinterest and I will also put in the description box the measurements of everything that you do need and yeah, so I'm going to show you the ingredients you need and just kind of the supplies you need and then um, we'll jump right in and get started and get our hands dirty with making the salt dough ornaments and watching Joy paint them. I think painting them will be another video because making them by themselves is just going to be like a lot. It's going to be a tedious job. So let me just show you everything you need for the recipe and let's get started. Okay guys, so this is everything you're going to need. You're going to need water which you can't really tell, but that's water. You're going to need flour. You're going to need salt. Um, and you can use sea salt. I just used the regular salt. I went for great value. It was only like a dollar to get this, so that's what I did. You're going to need cookie cutters. You can use any cookie cutters. I have Christmas ones. I have non-Christmas ones. I mean, I even have like dog bones, like you can see the dog bone. You're going to, like, you just need cookie cutters. You're going to need a straw. And the reason you use a straw is this makes a perfect circle to put the um, ribbon through or um, whatever you're using to hang your ornaments. You're going to need a rolling pin. You're going to need a bowl. You're going to need a cookie sheet, which i got to pull mine out. You're going to need um, wax paper, which mine was around here somewhere. I don't know where it went. You're going to need um, the wax paper or um, what is it called? You guys know what I'm talking about. The parchment paper. That's what it's called. Parchment paper. And you're going to need an oven. Sound easy? Oh, and paint to paint afterwards. That's what you're going to need. To make a small batch of the dough, you're going to need a cup of water. Or no. You're going to need a half a cup of water, a cup of flour, and a cup of salt. But I'm doubling the recipe, so I'm going to use a cup of water, two cups of... Two cups of... Um flour and two cups of salt.
these are the special ornaments I want to make. I want to make Joey's handprint and make them into a Santa. So, we're going to take his hand and we're going to make an ornament. Okay. And I'm going to actually cut around that. So, I'm going to lay his hand again. And I also want to make the dog's paw prints as well. Okay. Whoops. So. That is Joey's handprints. And I want to make, like I said, I want to make these into Santa's. So I'm going to take a butter knife and I'm actually going to cut those out. <coughs> and then I'm going to set those on the, their parchment paper. And just get ready <coughs> to get this all done. So that's Joey's handprints, guys. No, His small little hand. hands. Why? Let me get you one, alright? Okay, you get me one. You want to get me a knife? Yeah. This is a Give me a butter knife. A butter knife. Yep, a butter knife. Is this kind of a butter yep, knife? Yep, that's good. That can be a butter knife in this hole. Yep, so now I'm just going to cut around it. Can so. it go with? So that is his one handprint. Okay, so that is Joey's handprints. 
Like I said, I have a special ornament for those. So that is a very special ornament. I'm going to put these onto the parchment paper and then I will show you putting them into the oven. Can you guess what these are going to be, guys? Can you? Can you? No? Maybe? I could actually cut this closer to his hand, but I don't want to. I mean, I guess this part I can. hand as much as possible. Okay guys, so that is Joey's hand prints and I'll show you what these are going to turn into in just a second. Okay, so now I saved a couple, I saved a little bit of the dough. I want to make the dog's foot prints, but I need to have Chris here because he's going to help with that. So I saved a little bit of the dough, actually a lot of the dough, but just enough to do both the dog's paw prints. And now I'm going to actually clean up my lovely sandy mess. So I'm actually not going to um, really worry about my cookie cutters all too bad. I'm just going to throw them in the dishwasher tonight probably, I think. Maybe. Actually, for right now, I'm just going to throw them into a bag. The reason I'm just going to throw them in here is at least I know where they're at. They're together. And that's all that matters. We're going to save this for next time. And I'm going to put my big mess into a pile on my counter here. Oh, I'm smart, I swear. I'm going to spray down my counter with some cleaning supplies and wipe it with some paper towels. As simple as you can 
make a mess is as simple as you can clean the mess. As soon as you get done making the ornaments, I would definitely clean. It definitely makes things easier to clean when it's not like stuck onto your counter. So I would recommend as soon as you get the ornaments done, you clean. Definitely works better that way. Okay guys, so now we are just going to wait until the ornaments are halfway cooked to flip them and that is when I will see you guys again. Okay guys, so it's been a half an hour since they've been in there, so it's 10 o'clock and I'm just checking on them and I just want to see what they look like. So I have about another hour until I flip them. So they look, they're looking pretty good. They're looking like they're cooking just the way they're supposed to. So we will see them again in half an hour, well, in an hour. Okay guys, so it is 11.01 .01 and I am going to now flip the ornaments and um, just make sure they get cooked on both sides. So this is what they look like in the oven. I'm going to pull them out and actually put them on the top of the stove to make sure I get them all. So give me just a second. Okay guys, so I have just flipped these all there on the other side and just look how they look. They just have a different color to it. They're a little wet on the back. That's why we're flipping them just so that they'll cook on both sides and we'll know that they're thoroughly cooked through the inside and the out. So I'm going to pop these back into the oven and then they're, they're just going to cook for another hour and a half. So then we'll take them again. We'll take them out and they'll be done at 12.30. And it is 12.34. And these are done. Let's open this up and bring them up. So that is the top rack. That's a lower rack, but these are guys are done. And now I'm just gonna let them cool. Now I'm just gonna let them cool, but. That is all the soft dough ornaments. Turn looks at it. And they're done. Doing it. So Joey's starting to paint the ornaments. I used some of his old applesauce cups to put the paint in so it doesn't get all over the place. And right now he's painting a paw print. <laughs> I 
That's a new pond. It looks like a pond. And I'll show you when we have more done. So here's all the ornaments we've painted, and I have one here, and one there, and one there. This is all the ornaments we painted, and I think this is all we're going to paint for right now. And we're going to give a couple to my sister as a Christmas present. We still have all those to paint, but I don't think we're going to paint all those. But this is all that we have. There's my paint mess, and I'm show these paint cups. Okay, that is all that we painted.